On this video we are gonna analyze how France tactics worked perfectly to beat Morocco. When France had the ball in their half, they usually had a numerical superiority, but they preferred to play long. As a consequence this was their offensive structure, with three centre-backs, Hernandez and Dembele giving width and they had five players on the central corridors where Giroud usually dropped back. When Morocco had the ball, usually a midfielder dropped back between the center backs. However, they only had two players on the central corridors and France tried to cover it with four players. When the ball was moved to the wing, usually France fullback joined the pressure, thus France had six players on Morocco's half. France in possession played with a 1-4-3-3, meanwhile to defend Morocco played with a 1-5-4-1. France centre-backs moved the ball patiently to find their teammates between the lines or free on the wings. Nevertheless Morocco was organised and aggressive when Mbappé or Dembélé received the ball. Morocco's main mistake on France's goal was that they were defending deeper, since they gave a space to the centre-backs to move the ball to their half. Dembélé is attracting to the full-back and the winger, therefore there is space for Griezmann, who is on offside position but Varane waited for the right moment where Griezmann anticipated the centre-back and received the ball. With a great movement without the ball he got right off his mark. On the edge of the box he saw the passing line to Mbappé. On Mbappé's second shot, Hernández is free on the second post because Morocco's players went to cover Mbappé. After the goal they gave the ball to Morocco and tried to start quick offensive transitions on the left side with Mbappé. Usually Giroud ran on the central channels to fix to three centre-backs. Two players were enough to attract to the five defenders, therefore they left space on the edge of the box for France midfielders. When Joris played long balls France accumulated players on few meters because Giroud usually won the duels and France could attack. In the same way the centre-backs played through balls to the strikers who were in the half spaces between the centre-back and the wing-back. As soon as he received the ball they had two passing options, outside and inside. France's defensive structure was 1-4-3-3. Morocco usually tried to progress through the wings, but France midfielders as Fofana were aggressive to support the full backs. Morocco's offensive structure was usually 1-3-2-5, however the inside players usually moved deep to create a space for the wing back, because they attracted to France full back and winger. Morocco usually created a space for a midfielder on the flanks. Meanwhile, usually another midfielder ran to the half space between France fullback and centre back. This gap was created because France fullback went over Morocco's wing back and this created a space with the centre back. Nevertheless, Konate and Varane were outstanding. Leave your thoughts about this game and if you think France will win the World Cup, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Play by Metrica Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform. Use coupon Nasir Salad at checkout for a 10% discount.